joined, we weren't really looking to the past to say, like, how can we be as much like before as possible or something. From that point on, it was, it was pretty much like a new band starting from a new, new place. We had all changed immensely since those earlier years. And, and uh, you know, ca Californication, you know, sort of defined the beginnings of where we were going to go. And to me, as much as this album has elements to it that are surprising, as far as the, the basic the basic tempos or the or the or the, the way that we're using the energy or the way that the way it's more melodic or the way it has more chords. To me we've we've established all that with Californication and right now we're just we're just trying to build upon that, you know. We had to actually go through everything we did in the last eight years for this record to to have meaning and to exist. I mean, this this had a lot to do with with John disappearing, with me disappearing, with us really kind of going through a, a, the the backlash of Blood Sugar mm -hmm. in order for this to have been written. So, I mean, you know, it's it, it's definitely akin to Blood Sugar. There's a relationship there. But it, it, it didn't make sense at that time of Blood Sugar. This is not the record we would have made if we kept writing songs after Blood Sugar with John. This would not have been the next record we made. We'd have made some, some real strange <laughs> thing at that point. Like a sequel to Give It Away, the guys returned to the desert to make the music video for Scar Tissue. Battered and bruised, they showed a different side to the young, self-assured rockers from eight years past. a world tour following the album's release, playing Big Day Out in Australia. began using heroin again, but after entering rehab at the end of 2000, has been clean ever since. peak creative form. Their next album, by the way, charted even higher than their previous release. Even though three years seems like a long time between records, um, the fact that Californication was such a long distance runner, it, it didn't seem awkward or like that we were going through a, 
a wasted patch of time. You know, we were on the road almost two straight years after that record came out, you know, back and forth from home and the road. <clears throat> and when we did come home before we started writing, I think maybe we took only two or three months off, you know, to go fool around and do our own thing before we were back in the rehearsal studio writing for this record. So it was a pretty seamless transition from, you know, phase Californication to the beginning of this one. We've been working really hard. We finished the Californication tour and we had a lot of momentum. Um, and I felt like, especially like uh, about halfway through that tour, we really sort of went to a higher level for us in terms of uh, our live show and everything we were doing. I felt like we, everything started clicking. And I know for myself, I underwent a personal transformation um, just in my own emotional life. And um, things got really good and, and we were playing at a very high level and when we stopped we knew that we didn't want to take too much time off because we wanted to keep that momentum going so we just got right into a rehearsal room and just started playing every day and writing as many songs as we could and which the result of which is this new record by the way standing in line to see the show tonight and there's a light on The video is a car chase. Jonathan and Valerie, who are our video makers, better known as Dateman Ferris to the professional world, um, took the song and, and came back to us with the idea of, of, a, of a car chase as the theme. It's going to be half performance, half car chase, and there's a bit of a plot that runs through the car chase, but I think when they heard the verse of the song, you know, it's this kind of rumbling, driving, moving freight train of, of a verse, you know, they felt that the, the excitement and the danger and the, the adrenaline of a car chase, that's what they were seeing. And that they found a way to weave it into the song because they, they really did love the arrangement. They were going on about, mm. you know, how perfect they thought the different parts fell into place. So we got have, we'll have the dynamic of the highs and the lows.